Hello Nurse, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about water potential and its component. First of all, what water potential is? Water potential is a measure of potential energy of water. Potential for potential energy and water for water. So as the name indicating that it's a water potential, it means the potential energy of water is measured in a system and we are going to compare it with a pure water pure water means that it has no other impurities or any other solute present in it normally the water potential of a pure water is considered zero so from the zero we are going to compare the water potential of other solutions which has water if you talk about in other words the water potential actually quantifies the tendency of water to move from one area to another area and this can happen due to osmosis or any other process so in other words in water potential we are actually studying the tendency of water whether it can move from one area to another area or it cannot what is the direction whether it is a forward direction or it is a reverse direction so we can study all these things if we are studying the water potential normally the water potential is denoted by the symbol psi and is expressed in the units of pressure which are known as mega pascals to understand the concept of water potential let's take an example consider we have a sugar solution in which water and sugar they both are present and we have placed our this beaker on a table so three things to consider the first thing is water the second thing is sugar and the third thing is the position of this speaker it means that it is on the table so these three things they are considered when you are calculating a water potential let's talk about these one by one first of all comes the water water is donated by pressure potential or p the pressure potential it accounts for the physical pressure which is exerted by the water in a system for example the water is present in a beaker so the water is going to exert the pressure on the walls of the beaker as well as at the bottom of the beaker so the pressure the water is going to exert in a system is going to be donated as pressure potential and this pressure potential is because of water the pressure potential it can be positive or it can be negative the second thing we studied is presence of sugar the presence of sugar is associated with the solute potential which is donated by psi small s psi s or solute potential is associated with the presence of solute in water in this condition the sugar is a solute so when we are talking about solute potential we are going to consider this sugar and sugar potential is always be negative how it's going to happen the more the solute present in a solution the lower the solute potential so that is why it is going to be negative this means that solution has higher solute concentration have low water potential okay so as the solute concentration is going to increase the water potential is going to decrease so in this way the solute potential is going to be decreased in other words as the amount of sugar is going to increase in a system it means the water amount is going to decrease so that is why as the sugar or solute concentration will increase the solute potential is going to be negative because now the water potential is also low pure water has the highest possible or zero solute potential why the pure water has zero solute potential because the pure water has no solute so when no solute is present it means the zero or highest value and as the concentration of solute will start to increase the value it will start moving from zero to negative okay 
the third thing which we studied is the presence of the speaker on a table which is associated with the gravitational potential because now the gravity is acting on this beaker why because the beaker is away from the earth that is why the gravitational pull is working on the beaker or water so this thing is known as gravitational potential which is another component of water potential this is donated by psi g psi g accounts for the potential energy associated with the height of the water above our reference point for example earth is our reference point so the height of the water from the earth to the table it's going to be gravitational potential so these three things pressure potential which is associated with water solute potential which is associated with the solute or sugar and the gravitational potential which is associated with the height of the water these three combines together to form the water potential which is donated by psi now main question is why water potential is important or what actually water potential is helping in a biological system so let's study about the significance of water potential water potential is performing a very important role in the uptake of water from the roots by studying the water potential you can explain the movement of water from the soil to the root for example if the soil has low water potential it means that water is lower here and in the roots the water is high now you can say that water is going to move from the roots to the soil but if you know that water potential outside is high in comparison to the roots then you can say that the water is going to move from the high water potential or from the soil to the roots so in this way you can estimate the movement of water in a biological system and this is important in the movement of water from the soil to the roots to the aerial parts of the plant so that they can use that water for their own metabolism the second significance is the transpiration transpiration is the evaporation of water from the aerial parts of the plant in the form of water vapors now if you know that in the environment the water potential is low then you can estimate that because the water potential is low in the air and the water potential is high in the leaves the water will move from the leaves outside air so you have estimated the movement of water by studying the water potential but if you know the water potential is higher in the air and it is lower in the leaves it means that you can say that water from the leaves to the air it will not move or you can say that the transpiration it will not takes place so water potential is very important if you want to study the movement of water or if you want to, to study how different processes they are occurring whether they are occurring they are stopping and how different environmental conditions are going to affect a particular process in a simple or daily life for example you have a plant and you have given it a water for example this is your plant and you have given it a water now you know that the soil has high water potential and now you know that water can easily move from the soil to the aerial parts of your plants after one day you observed that the soil is still wet it means you know that the water potential is higher still so in this case what you will do you will not give your plant more water just to prevent it from the bursting because at this time the water potential has helped you to estimate that your plant is okay with the amount of water it has in the soil but after one week you observed that your soil it has dried it means the water potential it has decreased now in this case the water potential has which you have estimated you have estimated that the water pressure it has decreased it means the solute concentration it has increased and now you have to give your plant water otherwise the water from your plant it will start moving in the soil and your plant it will wilt so this is how water potential is helping 
in your daily life and this is how the components which are associated with the voter potential are helping you to understand the process direction or the things which are actually happening at that time so that was all about water potential and its components if you have any more question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video